Hello everyone, my name is Yogesh. In today's video, we'll learn how we can compare two lists of objects in C Sharp. And this we'll do using two methods. One is using operator overloading and using I equitable interface. So let's jump into an example first. It's very simple. So it, uh, this video will be very short. So I have created one class student. And in this student, what I'm doing is this is my syntax of overriding double equal to operator. So here I am saying like overload like you can say override you can say override the double equal to operator and I will be passing two parameters like here you I see I say s1 double equal to s2 so s1 will go into a and s2 will go into b by default and here what I am doing is I am comparing if a dot name equals b dot name and a dot age equals b dot age and this will return me true. Now whenever I am uh, you can say overriding double equal to operator then I have to give it's mandatory to give not equal to as well. So in not equal to I can just say whether just to find a double equal to b and then I will use not operator to reverse the output because that then it will give me not equal to. So let us just run our program and see whether it works or not. So I can just say F10, F10, F10. Now, as you can see, I have two objects. Uh, one is hello and second is hello one. If I try to do that, it will not work. Why it will not work? Because a hello and hello one is not equal to. Now, let me just change this back to hello. Now, if I run my program and see the output, it will take a while to run. And if I do now again the same so here if I do now it is equal it is comparing equals so how it works is automatically we are overriding this double equal to now this is very simple program and this was this is this can be used with you would say dotnet framework version 2.0 and before that as well now in later version now we need to work with list type so list is like you can say generic collection type so now the thing is with list the implementation changes now how I, how I can do the same thing I have to implement I equitable interface and what you need to do is in this bracket like you can say you need to pass the same class because you are comparing these two classes. So the moment you create this I inter uh, let me just cut this one. So the moment I implement it so what it do is it asks me to implement the interface. If I implement this automatically e implements an equals method. So this is my equal methods so what I am saying is in equals I am checking whether this dot name this means current object dot name equals the the past object dot name okay so the main thing is you don't need to use this equal this equal method automatically C sharp do that for you when we use the link methods extension methods so here I am comparing the H it's same now I have covered three examples okay so one where I'm checking whether the list contains or not and I have a my I will put my breakpoint and see whether this thing will hit my uh, code or not okay so let us wait for a while so first what I'm doing is I have added a list one will contain my s1 and s2 student I have added two student and uh, now I have s3 s4 student also and this is my list 2 I'm adding into the list 2 so I have two list of two objects but first example what I'm checking into whether list 2 contain s1 now here you see in list 2 I have added s3 and s4 not s1 okay s1 is part of list 1 but I want to compare the values not you can say just the object so if I go f10 so you can see automatically dot contains uses the equals method to check whether the value equal or not so here it will return me true or false if it says it is equal hello and here I am saying h so yes it exists so it will proceed okay now the next example now I want to compare complete list as I want to see whether my this list is equal to the other list now you need to remember when we are doing this kind of operation the sequence of data should be the same here I have used hello hello and here I used hello hello one so it will give an error basically not an error because it will become a false because this is not true so what I will do is 
I will change this one as hello one and this one hello and this one hello and this one hello two. So you can see sequence of object is different. Here the first object has hello and here the first object has hello one. So if I run my C and I am again using sequence equals. Okay. So the method name is sequence equal. So here it will check in the sequence itself. Let us just see our code. I added again the list one, list two. Now, if I do now list one first comparison. Now, after the first comparison itself, it came out because the first object doesn't match. Hello and hello one are not the same. But what if I change this and matches the this list? So first index, the uh, first item of the list will have hello and second will have hello one. Now, if I run my function. will take a while to run now if I run my function now as I know my list is same exactly the sequence is data is same so now after this contains wait a second let this contains complete so now in the second one it is comparing both the objects okay now it comp was able to see the both the object has the same data hello and hello one so it said it's true so here we are comparing the sequence so th here the just not the data the sequence should also matter but suppose there is a case where you don't want to go with the syntax like you can say sequence you want to check doesn't matter whatever the syntax is I want to see whether my list matches or not it can be up and down so in that case you will be using list two dot all like all is a method which will execute each and uh, you can say which will check whether this condition gets true for all the objects or not so here I'm checking whether my X which is part of list one uh, is contained into list one uh, like in the list one and X is part of list two so if I do it will execute again two times and as it says it exists so it will say true so now with this example you can see how easy it is to implement operator overloading and using i equitable how i easily i can compare my two list of objects okay if there is any question you can put into the comments or you can mail me on my email id yogish.mail at the gmail.com and i will be placing this code on my website that is textfile.in uh, in the video description you will find the link of this code so if you have any question please feel free to contact thank you